is called from the voices of the mighty waters. I'm going to sing to you this song, but before I start singing to you this song, I want to tell you where this song comes from. It comes from Psalms 93, and it very, very much correlates to the message I'm going to be delivering today on this video. First, I'm going to sing the song in English, and then I'm going to tell you how it correlates to my message today. From the voices emanating from many waters, from the voices emanating from many waters, so many waters, mighty are the breaking waters. From the voices emanating from many waters, from the voices emanating from many waters, mighty are those breaking waters. Mighty in heaven, oh mighty in heaven, oh mighty in heaven, oh mighty in heaven, mighty in heaven is God. Mighty in heaven is God. Mighty in heaven, oh mighty in heaven, oh mighty in heaven, oh mighty in heaven. Mighty in heaven is God. Mighty in heaven is God. This song is a song which I played for the very first time on my guitar on my own accord. My amazing teacher who bought me that guitar gave it to me as a gift and taught me how to play many songs. But he didn't teach me how to play any Jewish songs. And it was this particular song, this song, which is a Jewish song. This particular song, which was the very, very first song, which I sang and played on my guitar. Similarly, on a similar note, when I started playing music on my music keyboard, this was the very, very first song, which I started playing. Nikolot Mayim Rab Madir, from the voices of the plentiful waters, of the many waters, of the mighty waters. How does this message correlate to the message I'm going to talk to you today about? How does this song in particular, which I just played to you, how does it correlate and how does it symbolize to the message I'm going to deliver to you today? In my lifetime, I faced many powerful voices. I faced voices which said to me, Jessica, you must remain where you are. I faced voices which were powerful and mighty, which said to me, Jessica, we will break you if you go anywhere. Suicide was my only option, or so I thought for many, many years. Until I realized that... God is above those mighty waters. God is above those breaking waters. God is up in heaven. And God didn't create my life in vain. If God didn't create my life in vain, I must preserve my life. I must live for as long as I can. That's the message which I internalized after I transitioned. After I saved my life and transitioned. This week... I took a painful decision. I made the right decision. And I made that decision on my very own accord. Not a single human being had anything to do with the decision I made this week. I want to tell you something. I regret. I regret the people who I hurt in the past few years. I regret that. I regret that I hurt people. I know that I had to save my life and I know that the predicament was very troubling and very painful. But I regret it. And if I could take it back, I would. I don't like hurting anybody. I don't like hurting anybody.
I wish I didn't have to hurt anybody along this path of transition. Yes, I saved my life. That doesn't mean... <laughs> that doesn't mean that I have to hurt people along the way. And I wish I could take it back. And I know that... There was nothing I could do about it as such. I had to do the right thing. But I still regret it. And I wish, I still wish I hadn't hurt anybody along this path. I aim to trust and believe in God. And along that path of belief and trust in God is also the knowledge that what happened in my past is something God decided. What happens in my future. It's preordained. It's God's decision. And I mustn't get caught in guilt, blame, regret. I mustn't get caught in that kind of thing. We mustn't get caught in that um, spiraling, um, circulating, and unhelpful approach of guilt blaming ourselves nonetheless I still want to express my sincere apologies I'm an imperfect being I am very much so an imperfect being and I wish I hadn't hurt anybody along this path of my transition please accept my apologies and please know that I'm working on myself. I'm trying to rectify myself. I'm trying, I'm trying to improve and to be kinder and nicer. My YouTube channel is not about hurting anybody. I know I hurt people through my YouTube channel. I know that people are hurt through my messages. I know that. And it's something I regret. I'm going, to, I'm going to remove videos where I hurt anybody. I don't want to hurt a single human being. I don't believe in hurting a single human being. I'm sorry. God created a soul. And if I hurt another human being, I've hurt God. And that's something which I wouldn't want to do. I did it in the past. Like I said, I am an imperfect being. I'm working on change. And I really hope and pray to God that God will help me get there. That's the message today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really apologize for this. And if I could take it back, I would. I'm sorry. If you enjoyed today's video, Press the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Press the little bell notification next to it. Feel free to share away. It's a painful video, but it's an important message. I'm an imperfect being. Feel free to share away. I love you so much from the depths of my heart. I look forward to seeing you in another video. I love you. Thank you.